seen this movie. I'm sorry, Captain. This is a restricted area. I can't let you pass without clearance. Okay. Come here. You want to see my clearance? Maybe I'll just leave this here with you. Let him pass. Let him pass. <laughs> Will Smith, Independence Day, a movie about aliens invading Earth. But now the United Nations is getting ready for a contact with aliens from outer space. This is Maslin Offman. She's out of Malaysia. She will be planet Earth's first interstellar diplomat. And Michio Kaku is a theoretical physics professor, also host of the Science Channel series, Sci-Fi Science Physics of the Impossible, which is doing great, by the way. How are you doing, by the way? Very good. Nice Very to good. see you, Michio. And I don't know. Is this a goofy idea? Is this a... Serious idea? What the world is the U.N. doing involved in this? Well, don't expect flying saucers to land on the White House lawn anytime soon, announcing, take me to your leader. It sounds like a goofball idea, but here's the rationale. Sometime later this year, maybe early next year, astronomers will announce that we have discovered Earth-like twins in outer space. And when we gaze out the night sky, somebody may be gazing back at us. But it's not going to be a two-way conversation. It's not like E.T. phone home. It's going to be a one-way conversation, eavesdropping on aliens from outer space, perhaps. So even if we were able to send a signal, how would we communicate? That's exactly right. If you have a message in a bottle in the ocean, you can't communicate back to the people <laughs> right. sending the message in a bottle, right? <laughs> which, which makes it seem all kind of, kind of strange. I can understand yeah. if you came up with the idea. I can understand if NASA came up with the idea. Yeah. But what about the United Nations? I think they want to stake a claim because right now there are no protocols. There's no way to address an alien ambassador. There's no way to set up how trade would be, how communications and information would be exchanged. So I think they want to like put a stake in the, in the ground and say, we claim this uh, in the name of the United Nations. Now, I know there are others who believe in, in life in outer space, and they believe perhaps they've even touched down here on planet Earth already. Mm -hmm. But the point that you make about these satellites in the coming year, the Kepler and the, is it the Karat satellite? Yeah, the Karat satellite. Uh, they're French looking satellite. deep into space, right? That's right. They might be able to find signs of life. That's right. But, but the signs of life would be like, they'd be microbes, right? They Probably. They would walking around up there. No. So far we have found 500, er, uh, 500 giant planets in outer space, but none of them are Earth-like. And that's where the Kepler, a U.S. satellite, and Corot, a French satellite, are the wild cards. Sometime later this year or next year, we expect them to announce. Astronomers will announce that we found it, the Holy Grail, an Earth-like twin in outer space. But that doesn't mean, uh -huh. that doesn't mean they have Fox News, that doesn't mean they have TV, radio. Or, or the Science Channel, right? Now, right. do you know Moslin Offman, the woman out of Malaysia? Have you heard no, of her before? No, I've never heard of her. It's the United Nations Office of Outer Space Affairs, a very obscure agency of the UN. Uh -huh. right. Very obscure, I would say. Well, we've tried this before. Was it 1977? We sent a message to outer space and yeah, on the Pioneer, the that, Voyager. That got us nowhere, did it? <laughs> yeah, right. And first, I think it's premature for us to announce our presence in outer space until we know their intentions, right? I mean, they may, they may view us as lunch, in which case maybe <laughs> it's a good idea to keep ourselves a little bit obscure. And, as, and as someone said, if they're looking for intelligent life, they don't want to start at the United Nations. That was what they said anyway. But I'm pumped. Pa. Michio, mm -hmm. thank you. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll, we'll see how the, the department does. and okay. who knows, Maybe they'll give us an interview. Mm -hmm. And so when that alien touches down and watches your program, by gosh, you can give him the signal. Okay. Thank you, Michio. <laughs> <laughs>